Hi, welcome back to Future Scott Friday. This will be our third episode. Hopefully you were able to catch the first and second episodes. And unfortunately, like last episode, I don't think we'll be talking about Djibouti this time. That is unfortunate, but I think we have something a bit more exciting than Djibouti, and that is all of our admissions representatives. So you guys are all going to get to hear from our representatives and figure out which one is yours if you don't know yet, and just hear a bit more about Alma. I believe that our first representative is Katie Crombie. Welcome, Katie. Hi. Katie, can you tell us your territory? Yeah, so I recruit from Oakland County. So anybody in the Metro Detroit area, and I'm from Oakland County as well. For some of the students that you might get to recruit, maybe they're wondering, since you're an Elma alum, what is your favorite place on campus? So my favorite spot on campus is probably the chapel, um, partially because I worked for the chapel when I was a student. So I loved getting to get paid to do something that I would have done for free anyways. And then also the choir rehearsed in the chapel uh, and I was in the Alma choir and Pretty and Plaid. So it was not only the place where I got to perform and practice something that I love doing on the side, but it was also a place of spiritual development for my faith while I was a student. This week, since we have so many representatives to interview, we're going to ask each of them one of our this or that questions instead of doing all of them at the end. So Katie, do you prefer Highland chicken or popcorn chicken? Ooh, Highland chicken is very tasty, but I'm going to have to go with popcorn chicken. It's one of my favorite days to eat on campus. Yeah, I know for a fact that uh, when it is popcorn chicken day, there will be a line practically out the door in Hamilton yes. Commons. All right, well, that's all we have for you. Thanks for joining us, Katie. And now it's time for our second admissions representative, Ray Buckles. Welcome, Ray. Hi, welcome there. Thank you, Danny and Noor. So can you tell us what your territory is and where you recruit, recruit from? Yeah, I have all of the transfer students from the entire United States. Oh, I get them all. Wow. That's a good one. <laughs> it is good. It's really nice. So, Ray, rumor has it that you have a crazy family. Oh, Would you want to touch on that a little bit? Oh, yeah. I, it's like therapy for me. Um, well, we have four kids and they range from 13 to 17. Mm -hmm. um, so they're stair steps. It's always insane here. And then to make matters worse over the, uh, the COVID break, we decided to get some pets, too. So we now have four pets. So all wow. the kids have one. And yeah, it's like a zoo including with the kids. And then of course my husband, I add him in there as one of the kids too. So that's a lot. <laughs> Our this or that question for you is bagpipes or Highland dance? Oh, that is a really tough one. Um, but after the COVID closing, I have to go with bagpipes all the time now. They are very dear yeah. to me. Yeah. It's just something about that sound, you know, walking around campus, hearing the bagpipes. Yeah. All right, Ray, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you so much. It's great to see you. Bye. Bye guys. All right. The third representative we're going to be interviewing today is Caroline Heitzman. Welcome, Caroline. Hi, everyone. Caroline Heitzman here. I am the admissions representative for Kent County, Ionia County, Clinton County, Barrie, Eaton, and Ingham County in Michigan. I'm also the athletics liaison at Alma College. Speaking of athletics, Caroline, who is your favorite Alma College coach? Ooh, so every coach is special in their own way because their sports are all special. Um, but I have a really close relationship actually with our women's volleyball coach. Mm -hmm. So we met way back when we were both college players. Uh, we were at the same volleyball camp helping work the camp. And so we formed a really good relationship. And every year we put on a volleyball camp together on Mackinac Island um, yeah. through the Alma College athletic director, Sarah Deering, who's originally from the island. So I'm a little partial to our women's volleyball coach. All right, Caroline, so your this or that question is football game or basketball game? Both. All right, thank you so much for joining us today, Caroline. Woohoo! Go Scots! Bye. Go Scots! All right, so the next admissions representative that we are going to be interviewing is Hank Wickley. Welcome, Hank. Thanks for being here. Hi, it's good to see you guys. You What's too. What's going on, man? So can you tell us um, what territory you recruit from? 
Yes. So I am going to do the Michigan thing. Uh, I have the west side of the state, including uh, Muskegon. And I have also the Thumb and Flint and Shiawassee. So kind of both sides of the state there. Awesome. It sounds like you're going to be traveling all over the place. <laughs> no, I'm very excited for it. Um, so a question that we wanted to ask you, since you are a recent graduate of Alma College, um, what is your favorite memory of being a, a Scott? So my favorite memory is actually also my least favorite memory, and it uh, occurred on March 13th, the kind of the day the whole world ended with uh, the coronavirus. And on that day, it was very sad. All of us seniors, um, you know, our, our athletic seasons were ended. Many of our athletic careers were ended. A lot of things uh, were coming to an abrupt end. And on that day, the entire campus came together uh, there were bagpipers performing. They did an awesome uh, event on the football field for all of us seniors. And it was a really cool day. It was really cool to see the entire family at Alma come together. Yeah, that was a really special day. It was sad, but also a very unique day that we'll never forget for the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. All right, Hank. So your this or that question is Starbucks or Highland Blush? I'm going Highland Blush all the way. Um, and if you've ever been in there, you know exactly why. Because the vibe is just off the charts. It's so great in there. There's music. There's, you know, it's just cool in there. And the coffee's awesome. And I'm a big coffee person. So, Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye. I'll miss you, Hank. Bye-bye. Goodbye, everybody. It's great to talk Hank. to you guys. Our next admissions representative that we are talking to today is Shelly Bushley. Welcome, Shelly. Thanks for having me, excited to be here. How are you doing today? I'm great, it's a beautiful Friday. So Shelly, what is the territory that you recruit for? I have the best territory of the state in my opinion. I get to recruit for Northern Michigan. So I go from Cadillac all the way north, I have the whole north um, part of the state and then up into the UP. How long have you been with Alma and what is your favorite part about recruiting? I have been at Alma for about seven years now. I actually started out in our advancement and alumni offices. So it was kind of fun. I got to help plan alumni events and work with alumni. And then I moved over into the admissions office um, about three years ago. And I actually uh, did some visiting, uh, scheduled visits, and then I started doing recruitment. Um, and my favorite part of recruitment is working with families. I love to meet with new prospective students and share my love for Alma. So Shelly, your this or that question is going to be serendipity or cold stone? Serendipity. For sure. Our next representative that we're going to interview today is Mercy Bourdais. Welcome, Mercy. Hi, you guys. Glad to be here. Hi. So can you tell us what territory you recruit from? Yes, so I have a large portion of Southern Michigan. So basically Allegan, Kalamazoo, Calhoun, Jackson, and Livingston, then down to the border. Um, so yeah, it's pretty fun. So Mercy, with being an Elma alumni, what was your favorite class you ever took? Oh, that's a great question. So one of my favorites was um, ceramics because we got to just like get really creative with it and make all kinds of different things. And then you got to keep everything that you made. Um, so it was a really cool learning experience. And then I ended up with like some plates and a pitcher and some fun <laughs> things that I'll have for a long time. And I was able to give someone's gifts. So that was a plus. Okay, Mercy. So your this or that question is sack or dow? Sack. Thanks for joining us today, Mercy. We hope you have a great day. Bye, Mercy. Thank you both. You're awesome. So our next admissions representative is going to be Aaron Miller. Welcome, Aaron. Hi. How are you Hi. doing today? I'm good. How are you? Great. So would you like to tell everybody what your territory is for recruiting? Yes. So I uh, recently switched territories and now I cover all out of state territory. So every state except for Michigan. A lot of states. It is. There are 49. 49. Yeah. Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. <laughs> 
I hear that you have a pretty great dog. I have an almost one-year-old uh, brown golden doodle named Zazu. Um, Zazu. Very personality-wise similar to mine. Um, and he proudly sports his Alma College collar every day. Is it Zazu Aww. as in like the Lion King? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Lion King's my favorite Disney movie. That's awesome. Okay, Aaron. So your this or that question is going to be Galston or Brusky. Hmm. I would have to say Galston because it's closer to Joe's. You got to get that late night food, man. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yes. All right, Aaron. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye. Hopefully, I'll see you in the office again soon. Peace All right. Home, home dog. Peace. Next, we're going to be interviewing the newest admissions representative, Gabriel Escovedo. Hola, como estan? How's it going, everybody? Estoy bien. Hey, my man. <laughs> All right, welcome, Gabe. So can you tell us where you're from and what territory you recruit from? Yeah, so I'm actually from Texas. Um, you'll only hear me have this accent if I talk about Texas. Um, so I moved here with uh, my family, my wife and daughter, just a few months ago, solely to work at Alma because I really believe in all the amazing opportunities they have for students. And I feel like I have the best territories in the state, and I have Wayne and Macomb County. So, uh, Gabe, I hear that you can dance pretty well and that you can teach some dance. I was wondering what, what kind of styles you're doing. So my legend precedes me. Okay. Ah. So um, yes, I do teach dance. Um, I actually teach over 17 uh, styles of dance. That includes Latin, ballroom, hip hop, breakdancing, and country. I'll definitely do some hip hop with you. I, I like hip hop dancing. All right. Well, we'll, we'll get at it. So whenever you're ready. <laughs> All right. <laughs> For you, we have a very special this or that question. Since you're kind of new to Elma, we're going to do a special one for just for you. Uh, Houston Astros or Texas Rangers? Uh, Texas Rangers. I was born and raised in Arlington. The stadium was like 10 minutes away from my house, and they're going to hold the World Series. So Texas Rangers all the way. They're just not going to be in the World Series. We're going to have a talk. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gabe. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Hope to see you around the office, and have a great afternoon. All right, you too, guys. Take care. All right, our last admissions representative that we are going to interview today is Lexi Francisco. Hi, Danny. Hi, Noor. Save the best for last, right? Definitely. Heck yeah, we did. So, Lexi, what is your recruiting territory? Yeah, so I recruit for our local territory, so Isabella, Montcalm, and Gratiot, as well as Midland, Saginaw, and Bay City. Can you tell us a bit about what kind of things you're involved in on campus? I am a part of our KCP mentor program. It's been so much fun to meet a bunch of different people on campus. Um, I'm also an admissions uh, ambassador and I'm also um, involved with yoga. So your this or that question is the rec center or weight room? I would probably say the rec center just because I found out that you can actually uh, rent different things. So you can rent a bike, you can ride a kayak, um, you can also rent fishing equipment and I love fishing. So I'm excited to do that. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for you, Lexi. So thank you for joining us. Bye bye. Bye. Thank bye. you. We asked every admissions rep the most controversial question around campus. Pizza One or Pizza Sam's? And here are their responses. Ooh, pizza One. Pizza One. Pizza Sam's. Pizza One. Pizza One. Pizza Sam's. Pizza One. Pizza Sam's. We have one more representative who couldn't join us today because he's recruiting overseas. He covers all of our international students and this is Amir al Sabah, and when he gets back into the States, we will have him on a future episode so that all of you international future Scots can meet your rep as well. All right, well, that brings us to the end of episode three. So make sure to tune in next Friday at noon to see episode four. And if you missed any of the previous episodes, go check them out on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, and visit our website, down there. Yeah, so don't forget to follow the Instagram below. It probably won't be mine.
but it's fine. You should follow, especially if it isn't his. Bye, guys. Go Scots!